Good morning, everyone. I'm Rana Gadban, President and CEO of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, which is presenting this program. Welcome to today's all virtual Walk of Fame ceremony. Before we start, we would like to give special thanks to our media partner, Variety, for co-producing this ceremony with us. We are so excited to be here with you to present this program. And though we miss seeing everyone's faces on Hollywood Boulevard, we're happy to be able to connect with all of you today. Today, we are honoring an extraordinary woman who is revered in the motion picture industry as one of the most thought after film costume designers of all time. Today, Hollywood honors Ruth E. Carter was a 2,694 star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Now, let's take a look back at her incredible career. Ruth E. Carter began her career working in her hometown of Springfield, Massachusetts, and as an intern at the Santa Fe Opera. She moved to Los Angeles in 1986. While working at the Los Angeles Theater Center, Ruth met director Spike Lee, who hired her for his second film, School Days, and with whom she worked on a number of films thereafter, including Do the Right Thing, Mo Better Blues, Jungle Fever, and Malcolm X. Ruth has continued to work on films for Spike Lee, including Old Boy and The Sweet Blood of Jesus. In addition to designing costumes for the films of Spike Lee, Ruth has worked with legendary directors such as Steven Spielberg and John Singleton, and has dressed actors from Denzel Washington to Josh Brolin and actresses from Angela Bassett to Oprah. Ruth E. Carter is a 2019 Academy Award winner for achievement in costume design for Marvel's Black Panther, making history as the first African American to win in the category. Ruth wows audiences and dazzles critics alike with costumes inspired by traditional African tribal wear, merged with a contemporary look, delivering fashion and function, incorporating technology, and creating such authenticity, ownership, and empowerment for the characters and viewers, cementing her as one of the preeminent voices and experts on Afrofuturism. A career spanning more than three decades in theater, cinema, and television has made her one of the most sought after and renowned costume designers in the world earning her over 40 film credits, including two additional Academy Award nominations for Malcolm X and Amistad, and an Emmy nomination for the reboot of television miniseries, Roots. Ruth has collaborated with various directors and visionaries. She joined forces with Robert Townsend, making the iconic Five Heartbeats, with Keenan Ivory Wayans in I'm Gonna Get You Sucka, and Baby Boy, as well as Rosewood, was the late John Singleton. Ruth also created the costumes and look for the pilot episode of Seinfeld. Her breadth of knowledge in African American history and art was sought after by Steven Spielberg and Debbie Allen for the incredible Amistad. Ruth continued to present outstanding work for period ensemble films in The Butler, Selma, and Marshall. Ruth also completed work on the first season of Yellowstone, a television series starring Kevin Costner. Ruth's brilliant and bold 1970s urban dandy costume design work was recently seen in the Netflix film, Dolomite Is My Name, starring Eddie Murphy and directed by Craig Brewer for which Ruth won the 2020 Critics' Choice Award for Best Costume Design. She can also be seen in the Netflix original documentary, Abstract Season 2. Audiences will soon be rewarded with a rich and extensive palette of Ruth's work showcased in the upcoming sequel, Coming to America, directed by Craig Brewer, starring Eddie Murphy, Arsenio Hall, Jermaine Fowler, Leslie Jones, Wesley Snipes, and Tracy Morgan. Coming to America will debut globally on Amazon Prime Video on March 5th. 
Ruth also sits on the Board of Governors for the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences Foundation and is the founder of the Mildred Blount Scholarship Foundation. Ruth, what an amazing career you've had. We are so excited to be here with you today to celebrate this historic moment with you. The Hollywood Chamber of Commerce administers the Walk of Fame on behalf of the City of Los Angeles. Now, I would like to turn it over to our Los Angeles City Council member, Mitchell Farrell, to present you, Ruth, with a beautiful resolution on behalf of our city. Hello, I'm Mitch O'Farrell, Los Angeles City Council member, representing the 13th District, location of the historic Walk of Fame. So here we are in the heart of Hollywood, celebrating a new star, that of Ruth E. Carter. But first, I'd like to thank the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce for administering these virtual Walk of Fame ceremonies. Today, we're celebrating someone super special, someone whose work I have seen since I went to the theater to see school days back in the 1980s. What a career Ruthie Carter has now had, including several Oscar nominations and an Oscar win for Black Panther. So your story, Ruth, is unparalleled in Hollywood history. As a costume designer, you have helped tell the story of all of the films that have been blessed to have your talent. I also am so privileged to have met you in council chambers a few years back after the incredible success of Black Panther and your well-deserved Oscar win. So here we are congratulating Ruthie Carter on this wonderful celebration, uplifting you and your work as one of the unsung heroes traditionally. So I love honoring people who work behind the scenes, but your work speaks for itself and we have all benefited from seeing it in action in the incredible films that you've been part of. So Ruthie Carter, congratulations for your star on the Walk of Fame. Before we hear from Ruth, we have two guest speakers who would like to say a few words about our honoree. Our first speaker's introduction needs just two words, Oprah Winfrey. Hi everybody, what a pleasure it is to be celebrating today Ms. Ruth E. Carter on her historic Hollywood Walk of Fame induction. Well, I gotta say, I personally had the opportunity to work with Ruth on The Butler uh, with Lee Daniels. Actually, it was called Lee Daniels, The Butler. And I could tell instantly that her passion for clothes and costumes and design were matched by her intention in creating a, a nuanced portrayal of a black family through the decades. So um, what I first observed on The Butler and then again on Selma was a woman who was deeply intentional about creating clothing to represent the culture and journey of African Americans because both of those stories involved African Americans. And now we all know her esteemed credit list, both fictional and historical. And what strikes me most is the ease in which she works to create an entire mood through her impeccable design choices. And what this does is allow any actress who is working with Ruth to really surrender, because you know Ruth has got your back, literally and gonna put the clothes on your back and you can trust her to do that in a way that's gonna enhance your ability to step into the character. So Ruth holds within her an awareness of culture and knowledge of our history and is able to beautifully weave the two together to create fully formed characters before they even speak a word. I say this from experience. So I stand here proud of the work, Ruth, that you have done and in awe of your many, many accomplishments thus far, and I know the many, many to come, because put you and some fabric together and great things happen. So I congratulate you on today's Walk of Fame ceremony, so deserved, but we already knew you were a star. Congratulations. Thank you, Oprah. Next up, we have an industry legend. He is one of the industry's top five box office performers, and he is on the very short list of actors who have starred in multiple $100 million grossing pictures over the past three decades. From Beverly Hills Cop 
to Daddy Daycare. He is also a Walk of Famer and received his star in front of the historic Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel, which is about a block away from Roos's star. Please welcome actor Eddie Murphy. Today we celebrate the genius of Ruth Carter as she gets a much deserved star on the Walk of Fame. Now I've done uh, seven movies with Ruth. Uh, the latest, most latest movie is uh, Dolomite. We did Dolomite together and we did uh, Coming to America, this movie that's out now. And uh, Ruth Carter is a genius. Uh, all the movies I've done over the years, I've never been and uh, had to, uh, wardrobe designer whose clothes actually influence how you play your character, how you walk, or, uh, you know, how you stand. She really is instrumental in bringing your characters to life. And there's no one like her and she's a genius. And I am so happy that she is being recognized this way. Uh, there's always a sense of comfort when you walk on a Ruth Carter set because you know you're gonna be the best. And it doesn't matter what, I've been, uh, Dolomite is, uh, we had a little tiny little budget. And Coming to America is a medium budget and a movie like Black Panther, which she won the Oscar for, y'all know that, that had a huge budget. So no matter what the budget is, no matter what she's working with, she makes it happen. And that's, uh, it's just a unique talent. So Ruth, you are on the, the Mount Rushmore of costume designers and wardrobe designers and, uh, you are totally deserving of this honor and congratulations. And I love you, Ruth Carter, with your talent itself. On the Walk of Fame. Isn't that something? The Walk of Fame, Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations, Mama. More than 60 years after Edith Head was honored as the first costume designer to receive this prestigious award, Ruthie Carter paves history as only the second recipient in the costume design category and the first African-American costume designer to be given this honor. Your star, Ruth, will permanently live at 6800 Hollywood Boulevard. Now, because we couldn't be on the boulevard today, we wanted to share something special with all of you. Ruth, let's take a look at the making of your star. On behalf of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, we now declare today, Ruth E. Carter Day in Hollywood. It's now time to hear from our honoree. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you our newest Walk of Famer, Ruth E. Carter. Wow. I just got inducted into the Hollywood Walk of Fame by Eddie Murphy and Oprah Winfrey, two icons in Hollywood. It just doesn't get any better than that. I'm incredibly honored that both of you would speak on my behalf. Eddie and Oprah, thank you. Your words are a gift I will cherish for a lifetime. Now my star is even brighter. Thank you, Amazon and Paramount. Thank you, Rana and the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. This really is incredible. 
As I have been reflecting, I think of all the people whom I've met along the way who have helped make this happen. I've collaborated with so many of you, directors, actors, producers, friends, artists, family, know that you are in my heart. It is full with the deepest gratitude for being able to tell our stories by any means necessary. Thank you for seeing the depth of culture, history, artistry, and welcoming my vision of Afrofuture into the lexicon of American filmmaking. To the actors who stood in the mirror and, and, and shared your talents and beauty, thank you for allowing me to guide your connection to character through costume. And to all my fans who enjoy my movies and see themselves so much so you show up dressed in costume, it's my desire to continue to inspire you. Most of all, I dedicate this star to all the young aspiring filmmakers. I drove to Hollywood 36 years ago in an 85 Volkswagen Rabbit, no AC, no airbags, no GPS. Nothing was handed to me. Every moment, every sacrifice, every effort was hard work inspired by my passion. It's my hope that anyone who sacrifices, who beats these streets of Hollywood carrying their dreams in heavy garment bags full of costumes, desiring to be the best like I did, that when you gaze upon my star, Feel my energy. Feel the power of your own unique story to realize your dreams so you too can reach your star. Wakanda forever. We proudly welcome Ruth E. Carter to the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Thank you all for joining us for today's ceremony. We look forward to seeing you again soon. I'm back. Hey, what are you doing back here? Mufasa. <laughs> Say it again. I feel right in this I just discovered that I may have a son here in this land. How much child support is she getting from me? The king pays no child support. No child support for 30 years and you came back? You're a dummy! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I am Hakim Jaffer, King of Zamunda. You are the heir to the throne. Yes, my son. He's supposed to be like the prince of Wakanda. Wakanda is a fictional place. Not to everybody. Zamunda is a very real nation. I don't need no handout. Wait a minute. All right, I'm gonna pay. Okay, baby. <laughs> Presenting King Akeem's son from America. And my moms. And his moms. Children, this is your brother. Hey, Quang. I'm sorry I slept with your man. This happened before we even met. It's not like you're the first man I've ever been with. I haven't did, what did you just say about the other man? Coming to America, now it's coming to me. I always thought that Mika was going to be queen. <laughs> A woman isn't allowed to rule Zamunda. It's the law. Did it ever occur to you that Mika wanted to be your heir? Would you dare banish me from my own bedroom? How are you doing? I came. I'm getting in from everywhere. I have upset my family. You must be strong. And General Izzy would love nothing more than to take over Zomunda. Raise it higher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a king, I'm a Put your hands together! What a I like that. Say it again. Give me all the It's a party over here! I must admit, your style is far into my kingdom, but it's impressive. That's right. Ooh. There you go. Let me hear you say, hey, ho. Hey, ho. No, no, no don't no, do no, that. No. That's his mother. Oh, don't you say that. No, not to his mother. I'm a king, I'm a king, I'm a king, I'm a king. 
almost ready to become a prince. Almost. It is time. Ceremonial circumcision. Bring forward the royal machete. Machete? They're going to sharpen you too, nephew. <laughs> Coming to America, now it's coming to me.